Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll talk about data objects in VHDL. So, VHDL stands for Very High Speed Integrated Circuits Hardware Description Language. So, this is basically a hardware description language or this is a programming language used in VLSI. So, to store values of specific data types, we use data objects. So, data objects are used to store values within a VHDL program. So, within VHDL program, to store values of data types, we use data objects and those values can be of any specific data type like integer they can be a standard logic they can be boolean they can be bit binary any values these data objects can store and there are four data objects first is signal then variable then constant and then file out of these four signal and variables they store multiple values their values can change during simulation whereas value of constant remains constant and file data type is used to take data from external file or to write data into external file during simulation so let's discuss each and every data type in detail so let's start with signal so basically signal represents interconnection of wires if you people are familiar with uh, the structural modeling then you know we connect uh, first block with other block we declare components and then we use this signal data type so signal uh, represents interconnection of wires and values are updated after delta delay or specific delay then they are used for communication between concurrent statements of processes or processes they are declared in where we declare signals we can declare signals in entity declaration in architecture declaration and in package declaration see for single entity we can write multiple architectures so when we declare our signals in entity declaration they can be used in any architecture associated with that entity in architecture declaration they are referenced by that architecture only and when we use or when we declare are signals in package declaration then they are global syntax for uh, signal declaration is first word is signal because we are declaring a signal data object first word is mandatorily signal in case of variables first word is variable in constant first word is constant so signal signal name any name you can write but the thing is for a uh, name it must start with alphabet it can be followed by numbers and only one special character is allowed and that is underscore. Other special characters are not allowed. Then data type and then initial value the thing written in square bracket is not compulsory so if you want to assign some initial value then you can assign initial value by using colon and equals to this is example signal signal name is x data type of my x is bit and initial value is one after simulation that can this value can ch change to zero or it can remain one so this is about signal next is variable now a data object variable is a data object whose value can change during simulation within a process so value of variable can be updated during simulation whereas in case of signals value updates after delta delay so here it can change during simulation so it means variables are faster than signals then they are used for temporary storage or computation within sequential processes so their scope is limited to processes only we can declare variables in processes or we can declare them in sub programs so their scope is limited to those processes and those sub programs then syntax for variable declaration is first word is of course variable the name any name you, you can assign data type of that variable and then initial value so variable variable name is given as y the data type is standard logic any data type it can have integer it can have standard logic it can have bit it can have boolean it can have an initial value is zero 
Next comes constant. Definition of constant. How constant is different from signals and variables? Then in case of constant, it holds a value that cannot change during simulation. Value of constant remains fixed. And it is used. What is use of it then? Then use is to define fixed values like voltage levels are fixed, time delays are fixed or fixed logic levels. And just like signals, constants can be declared in entity. They can be declared in architecture. They can be declared in package declaration. Syntax is again same. First word must be constant. Constant name, data type and initial value of course its value will remain constant the value which we assign as an initial value it remains constant example is constant first word name given is pi its data type is real and its value is 3.1414 next data object is files definition is file data object is used for file io operations so what happens in file data object it allows you to read from or write to external files during simulation so if you are writing your code and you are simulating your code and during simulation if you want to write a test bench test bench is where we apply stimulus or values to our inputs like let's take simple example of half adder in half adder i have two inputs a b and outputs are sum and carry so i can apply values to a and b as 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so if i can apply values in test bench or i can load external files so to load that external files or during simulation if you want to uh, write your results into some external file then you can use file data object so this is particularly useful for test benches where you might want to feed input stimuli from a file or write simulation results to file for analysis syntax again same first word must be file here file name any name file type and is file name so reading so what we can do in file data type we can either read read data from external file or we can write our data into external file or we can append data in previously written data so modes are read mode write mode and third mode is append mode so see how to read so reading a text file i am reading text file here so first word is file 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 input file name is given as input file text the file type is text here you can write doc if you are reading from doc or docs text open read mode we are reading so mode is read mode is input underscore data dot text i'm reading data from this file this file is already saved in my computer while writing again first word is file output file my name my given name is output file the data type or the type of my file is text open because i am writing write mode now my mode is write mode is output data dot text so in this way we can read and write data using file data object now the most important thing is in many times in exam questions are to differentiate signals and variables because both of them stores multiple values their values updates change uh, after simulation so their difference is very very important so very first is signal the definition is it represents a wire or net used for communication whereas variable represents temporary storage used within a process so this is temporary storage variable is temporary scope so signals can be declared outside or inside a process so their scope is wide as compared to variables whereas variables are declared in processes or sub programs assignment when we are assigning some value then x is assigned as suppose 1 or 2 or 3 in case of integers assignment operator is this less than and equals to symbol whereas for variable assignment operator is colon and equals to you need to remember this this is very important difference otherwise you will get error while writing the vhdl code so if 
your data object is signal assignment operator is this else assignment operator is this then update timing value updates after the process suspends so after completion of process value will get updated whereas in case of variable value updates immediately after the assignment or during simulation only value updates usage used for communication between processes it is used for intermediate calculations within a single process within a process for intermediate calculations so this is a persistence signals are global across architecture or entity they are local to the process or sub program simulation behavior behaves like hardware wires here it behaves like software variables can drive ports of course signals can drive ports we can declare as signals in entity variables can't drive ports they are temporary common use cases clock signals data buses reset lines whereas variables are used in counters and accumulators so it was all about data objects in vhdl if you have any query about it post it in the comment box if you want other videos if you want me to prepare some uh, video on some particular topic tell me in the comment box also don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share it with your friends and subscribe thank you so much for watching